What's up, everybody? The Destroyer here. Welcome back to the Lord of the Skyrim's Barathor's Quest. This is part 19. I'm going to continue on through the, for continue on through the Forgotten City <laughs> as soon as I find my words. It's actually the second time I've had to do this because I, it bugged out. So that was nice. So, uh, I've done some off camera stuff. I know how to do the quest for the most part, but I decided to continue doing it on camera instead for the most part. So, we're going to do that. I know how to get this set of armor. I know how to get to the boss area. What do you want? Ugh, that voice. And yeah, hopefully we can complete this. So there's some cool things to see still. If we can manage to do it. So I'm going to kill this guy and get his armor in the middle of here. Which seems crazy. I know. God, somebody with the magic really hurts. Alright, see, it says follow Metellius to the lake house and use his portal again. That's what you're supposed to do. Who the fuck is hitting me with magic? Ugh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. What? Ugh, oh, a second chance. Alright, in that case. Dual cast these magics. Alright, there goes the Jarl. He's going to the place we need him to be. Good. He didn't go there last time. I think he died on the way over. Which is a bit problematic. Because he's the one who sends me back in time to fix this. Okay, he went inside. Good. Now I'm free to do what I want. Let's hit five here. We need to get the armor from that dude. We need to find Dooley. That special, special man. <laughs> and, uh, get a key off his body and a note. So where's he at? There he is. Oh, this is heal. I need a... Uh, I guess I could use crossbow, possibly? Let's see if we can hit him with this. There we go. Dooley is no more. Harable will not help you now. Alright, so we get Dooley's rusty key, a letter from the Arrow to Dooley. Perfect. Alright, so there's a couple more things we need to grab here. Actually, there's just one. This can't be happening. The other one can be done in the, the real time. Are you still trying to fight me? That's the only problem is these this giant machinations here. As you would expect, they're a bit dangerous. Like, a uh, apocalypse dangerous. <laughs> but Dooley's key does lead into this sunken house. So we'll go explore that, of course. Which will be pretty cool. And then we'll go into the palace. I know how to get into the palace as well. So that'll be good also. How the fuck do I get out of this water? It's the only way up through there. I mean, really? That can't be. We're camping it. Maybe here. Oh my god. Okay. So, hopefully that guy will be dead by now. And then I can grab the armor he was holding. Or wearing, rather. Let's try and avoid the Dwemer Centurion thingies if we can. But yes, if we, uh, if we get things in this timeline, we can go back in time, keep the items, and then come back to this timeline again with the items like it never happened. So that's how you do that. So his armor will be here. I'll take his armor, and then we'll go back in time. And he'll still have his armor, but I'll have it as well, which is great. So now we have the Immaculate Dwarven Armor and the Helmet. I also know where the gauntlets are, but we can get the gauntlets after this mess is taken care of here. Just want to make sure it doesn't bug out again, so we're going to try and get back to our own time. Well, I guess not our own time. A non-broken timeline, I suppose. There we go, he's here again. Yeah, I did all that, then I came in here and he was good. not there. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Stop this from happening. I will, I will indeed. After I kill this guy. Oh, he has ice dagger. 
So you're the one. <laughs> My gold. Is that all you're worried about? Oh. Shit, no wonder. I'll take his key as well. Oh, he's the barkeep. My letter. My letter. Oh, God's sakes. I need his letter to actually travel? I see. I mean, that's a hundred bucks for nothing. Pretty much, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What was it called? Do I even need to read it? No. I just need to have it. Okay. Got it. Right, because I have to give his letter to himself. This will be like the first time we ever arrived. So no one will know who I am. I have to go talk to him again. I tried talking to Dooley after having his note and reading, reading the, uh, or having his key and reading the letter. He didn't seem to do anything. Maybe I have to talk to the Earl first and then come back. We'll see. Alright, this is a good spot to save it. Alright, so he's gonna say some stuff to me, of course. You there? Where did you come from? You know, we've had this conversation before. What are you talking about? I've never met you. As you have, you're going to offer me escort to see Jarl Metellius. I... Uh... You're right. I was. How could you have possibly known that? I'm a time traveler now, if you'll excuse me. I, is that some kind of sorcerer? Uh, well, I don't want any trouble. Uh, let me get out of your way. Um, let's forget this happened, shall we? Agreed. Alright, so we're back in the Forgotten City. There's still blood there, because Skyrim apparently can't time travel very well. But we are uh, we are there. We are where we need to be. Okay. Let's see what he see what he thinks when we put on his armor. Is it called immaculate? I think so. So we got the helmets. We got the chest piece. We need the gloves and the boots, and we have a full set. Bro, I've been Wait. To ask you. Are you wearing strange? You're wearing the same armor as me. Whatever you think. I mean, it's exactly it. the same. Ask yeah. Break the off, Bye. Bye. Uh, we will have to deal with those of which, will bandits that attack, I believe. We can talk, but be quick. All right, let's go talk to the Jarl again. Actually, wait. Some. Where's the gloves? I don't. I don't remember the name of the guy with the gloves. He's in one of these houses, though. I know that much. Let me have a look. Uh, nope. Vernon, I think it's Brandis, if I'm not mistaken. We I think can it's talk, up here. But be quick. <laughs> Pretty sure Brandis is a oh. Vigilance of Stendar, if I'm thinking of the right guy. Oh, he's down there. Remember the first time I met the yard. Whoops. So Alright. Here it is, I believe. Yes. So he should be chilling in here. I say chilling lightly. He's a uh, like this. You there? Come over here. Uh, do you need help? I'm beyond help. The potions do nothing, and I don't. I don't have much time. I just need to tell you something. He looks a bit crispy. What do you want to tell me? Stendar. He plants these images in my head. He shows me secrets. Made me come here. What did you see? Something terrifying. Deep in the earth beneath the city. Powerful. And evil. I went down into the tunnels to destroy it. But the energy, it seeps into your bones. Please, please, you must find a way to get down there and finish what I, I. No, uh. oh, he's dead. Rip. All right, we'll take your ammo, Stendar, and your robes, because we're we have no shame. 
And here's his immaculate dwarven boots. There we go. His will here. It says, I leave all my worldly possession, including my boots, to whoever is willing to continue my mission to raise this place of evil that is buried beneath the city. Fair enough. That's a stealing potion. This one is not. I found that odd. Good day. That's fine. Okay, so now we get the boots. Which is fantastic. So, one more piece, which I know where it is, of course. The last piece is in the palace. So, that'll be our next spot to head over to, I guess. I guess we could just go there straight right now. Might as well, eh? The palace will probably take a while. I actually got lost in the palace before. <laughs> it's a big place. Or we could do Dooley's thing first. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, we'll do the palace first. Screw it. I'm already almost over there anyway. I do like this Dwarven armor though. It's pretty cool. It's it's cool to see like what the Dwarven armor would have looked like before it became all ancient looking. So I like that. All right, here we go. Pretty good. So it is locked up, as you will see here. If there is a way in. There is a cheeky little way in here. So if you go over here, it's very much locked. And the gauntlets are right there. Literally on that burned guy. So, we just need to uh, scale these coffins, oddly enough. I don't know why there's a bunch of coffins stacked so neatly to get in, but hey. No complaints here. Too bad I'm shit at parkour. Ugh. This place was interesting. Alright. Ugh, why didn't I jump? Fuck. <laughs> Apologies. I'll get it. Don't you worry. I, I really will have to apologize for the master locks, though. That's the part that's gonna suck. Why? Why you wanna let me jump? I did this so easily before. Now I'm doing it like a damn idiot. What if I go this way? I'm like f slowly falling off. <laughs> it kind of... Kind of didn't work. Oh! Oh, I was on, you shit-eating game. Alright, we'll do a third person. Fourth team thousands times the charm. It actually is worse. I feel like I can't do it. <laughs> what the hell? It's so easy. Even a caveman could do it. Alright, got it. Finally. God. I've never had so much trouble with a jumping puzzle in my life. That's not true, actually. I've had plenty of problems with jumping puzzles. Okay. Ah, there we go. Full set of immaculate dwarven stuff. And don't we look fancy. Yeah. Ooh. Well, how can I pass up this? <laughs> this will make a great screenshot. Oh, come on. One foot. I mean, that kind of works. Yeah. Sick. Alright. We'll just stand like we're a champion. But that's the Maculan Dwarven armor set, looks like. Pretty neat. And now we face charred horrors. Which, guess what? They're undead. Yes! So we can sunray. I found sunray is actually not as good as sunfire. But it's cool looking. Now we will Dragon Ball Z their asses to death. I actually found it's better to just use both, though. Have one hand doing that while I do this. My magic is drained. Got him. Oh, there's another one. Alright, we're gonna have to fight the melee his ass. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot our sword is actually good against undead. Of course. I'm not gonna be taking- Ooh, Jesus! Any of those. 
That's wow, very good against the dead. It's a lot of dwarven stuff. Unfortunately, dwarven stuff is heavy. Meow. Oh, yeah. But as you'll see here, master locks all day. Oh, it's the worst. So that sucks. Because not only do they take forever, but they also, uh, they blow through my lockpicks. Interesting, you can still do this swing with the sword while you're doing this. Alright, got him. Glacial Fortress. In case the caster in solid ice for 10 seconds, providing respite from combat. That sounds pretty sick. Alright. Uh, that'd be F, wouldn't it? Got magic. Let's check it out. What'd that be under? Alteration, probably, huh? Uh, no? This is restoration. Right. Runic weapon. Apparently, I can't use that. Uh, storm armor. What is that? Increase the catch with electricity, increasing shock resistance by 90%. Wow. That's pretty savage. Sounds a caster with death energy, increasing damage of blight, curse, and necrosis. Uh, yes, that's right. Where is it? Is it a destruction spell? I may have looked right at it, and I don't. I don't think I have, but all right, I'll find it here. Oh, that's favorites. Find it here. Glacial fortress. It is a. It's not a power? Oh, it's not a power. I mean, it's a power, it's not an actual... I can't move right now. Huh. <laughs> Just take another screenshot. Oh, that backdrop would have been cooler. Cooler, get it? Ha! <laughs> Funny. Okay, I'd like to get out of this now. Let me... Oh, shit, how long does this last? I, uh, I don't know. I will take a screenshot. <laughs> you never know which one you're going to use. Alright. Warwind Sprints. I probably need a... Just keep Warwind Sprint. It keeps you moving. Alright, so we got Brick Corpse. They don't have much on them, but they have some stuff, I guess. This is the palace. It's pretty neat. I'm assuming you guys can see. Uh, some people say it's fine. Some people say it's not. There's a lot of lock boxes as well. Some stuff in them like this. This is an apprentice lock. I can probably do that. Is that too much trouble? Ooh, other way. Oh fuck! Come on. I do only have 70 lockpicks, which sounds like a lot until you start breaking them repeatedly on master locks. Dwarven metal ingots. I'll take those. Even though I don't really need to steal dwarven metal ingots. Whatever. But you can go through the gates that are broken down. I think that allows you to bypass the, uh, the master locks. We got burnt horrors. Oh my god. Ooh, he's elusive. I do want to use a little bit of magic, though, because, uh, of course, my restoration skill goes up. So, I would like to do that. Actually, I'll just use both. I enjoyed it. Alright. Alright, deeper we go. Hello? There's a gate here that leads to a bunch of cobwebs, but it's a master lock. I'm just gonna try not to... If I can help it, I won't have to pick any of the master locks. I will. I'll do that way. It just takes me too long to do it. It's infuriating as well, so I prefer not to if I don't have to. Interesting character models, though. They essentially took a person, put burnt skin on them, and then made them an undead thing. It's not something you see in the base game, which is kind of cool. Alright, so we'll need to go in there in a moment. Let's just finish. Exploring this room. There's also a room there. You never know what's in some of these. Ah, oh, there's something there. Hello. Yeah. Actually, I could dual cast that, couldn't I? 
Let's see what that's like. Get a charge. No. Doesn't charge. But it will do more damage. That way. It's probably better anyway. Well, it's Precious Lux pick for a scroll. I guess it's worth it. These are a piece of cake. I don't mind doing these at all. Grand healing. Ah, that could indeed be useful. Novice. It's not much harder. Actually, novice is better either easier than apprentice, isn't it? Ooh. Not for people like me, apparently. There we go. I didn't break it, at least. Scroll Guardian Circle. Nice. Well, the thing is, you do get levels for actually doing the lock picking, so it's not that bad. They actually make it so you can bypass these locks because there's gates broken down and both sides lead to the same thing. So it's not that big a deal if you don't want to pick the locks. Let's go in here first. Oh, hello. Boom. Die, undead scum. Oh, hello. You're going down. Ah, piss. Some sort of wizard, Harry. Dead wizard. Let's see, this is the Dwarven armor, like, centuries later or whatever. It's all tarnished and stuff. So we have, like, a fresh set of Dwarven armor. I think that's a cool idea. I don't know. I don't have enough magic, though. Oh, I was trying to dual cast it. Okay. Did I lose this one? No, there's a lockpick. I'll take that. Alright, he came from in here. I believe he's the boss in this room or whatever. Quote unquote boss. He's not the boss of this place. Just, just like a little. a mini boss, I guess. I wouldn't even call it a boss, really. I use that term quite loosely. Okay. Let's put those away. So there's this. Nothing. How do I do? Oh yeah, there's a uh, there's a chest in this, in the throne. If you actually sit in the throne, it locks the chest, which is interesting. I found that neat. You also notice, I would normally be dying right now. Actually, I can show you. That's the radiation from underground. So if I take off a piece of this armor, I start burning to death. Just like if I was in the basement, but if I put this on, it gives you full protection from the radiation. So that's how the dwarves deal with that, I guess. Pretty neat. Alright, should be able to heal up again. And I believe we go up, if I'm not mistaken. So, where did I come from? No, I came from the other side. We go this way. Let me hit that quick save. See, I could have did all this off camera. I did before, but then I decided... Eh, you know what, it'll be better to do it on camera. I'm sure there's a few of you who might want to see this quest sort of completed in a real way. I don't mind doing it. I find it interesting enough. Once I get past all the uh, talk, 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 talk for fucking ages <laughs> and actually get some combat, it wasn't too bad. Alright, I believe this is where we need to be. I might actually have to unlock a few or one or two of these. Master locks, but it's not a big deal. I think this is the place, at least. Nice little underground, like, growing place. Is it on the other side? Yes, yeah, so here we go. This is where we need to be. Hey. Alright, so we have Gadavus, Gadavs Relis. I don't remember who he was exactly. But he came in here apparently and got this far and died. Oh, I can't use it. Alright, let's read Narnabus's journal, shall we? These are the last words of I, Narnabus the Great, the most powerful necromancer who ever lived. By tapping into the strange energy in this place, I have achieved what no other necromancer in history has ever dreamed mass resurrection. Two dozen corpses, maybe more, brought to life by a single spell. Consider for a moment the raw, terrifying power in that. Such is my power that the greatest achievement, transcending even my own wildest expectations, has forced me into this corner. You may ask what kind of summoner cannot even summon the courage to leap from the balcony into the lake below? Afraid of heights I may be, but you will never find a man calmer in the face of death than I, for it is only in death that I may perform my greatest ever feat, self-resurrection. I can hear my dark beauties coming for me, clamoring in the final locked gate. 
Determined that I joined them on the other side. It's time I joined them. Narbus the Great. P.S. Look behind you. We'll look behind us in a second. <laughs> Nightingale's Factor Fiction. I don't know. Oh, look. It's Nardimus the Returned. Oh, shit. So he was too scared to actually jump away from his, uh, his summons. <laughs> so he died. I mean, it is quite a drop, I will admit. Okay, we'll just use Soul, and we'll use the, uh... Oops. The spell. Sunfire. Alright, have at you. Steven attack. Yep. Fortunately for him, I'm very good at some dead right now. So, he got wrecked. Wow, this rope's conversion worth quite a bit. Okay. Well, that was easily dealt with. Well, I guess might as well not pass up a chance to heal. So that's really the boss of this place. I don't think I expected you to be so good against Undead. Like our sword is amazing. Spells are pretty good. Also, I'm not mistaken, this is the way out. No, it's not the way out. This is the way out. So that's really all that's in the palace. A lot of stuff. And the gloves, really. And then you just jump. Oh, shit. I, I... I didn't make it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No. Oh, fuck. I, I am so sorry. Why didn't I save before I jumped off there? I was not thinking. Oh, that was possibly the dumbest thing I've done today. Okay. Well, it's definitely the dumbest thing I've done today. I am embarrassed. <laughs> not really, but... Oh well, we'll just not loot anything, fuck it. So that's him, okay. I didn't actually realize that was him until I was just until reading that book. A second time. Oh fuck, I got the inkwell. I don't want the inkwell. It's alright, we're, we're right where we were. He didn't take long to kill. In fact, I could probably just kill him with my sword. Or just kill him with spells. Fuck it. Have at ye, you demon. He looks cool, though. Give him that. Okay. Controversy spells 15 minutes gas. Magic origins 75% faster. Wow. That's actually quite good. Good. And now we can get out of here and don't worry, I'll save this time. Before I jump off the fucking cliff. Like some kind of dipshit. Ugh. I'm just glad it wasn't that far back. I thought it was farther back. So that's good. I figured I would make it. <laughs> but was I wrong? Alright, it's F5. Quick save. I should be able to just do that. That's what I should have to begin with. There we go. We got a full set of armor. And we could go down and fight the last boss guy or whatever. But I think we should go and explore the caves of Dooley. I think you agree. Some of you want to see what's in here. I don't blame you. Alright, so we need to go for here. Lock with Dooley's Rusty Key. And that leads us into a nice little underwater chasm thing. Which is pretty neat. I don't think that. I'm pretty sure there's nothing on the bottom. I didn't search for very thoroughly. Oh, shit. I am drowning. Don't worry, we have two circles of water breathing for some reason. Which makes it so we will never drown. Pretty cool though. I do like these like blue glowing rocks, they look very neat. Ah yes, there's some dwarf middle ingots somewhere. Also have a little little look around, just not too long, but if there is anything down here. Could do with it, I suppose. Yeah, as far as I know, there's not not a whole lot. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like it. Alright. Uh, yeah, just keep going up. A lot of these screenshots are for, just for myself. 
The ones that I don't use, a lot of times I'll just use as a desktop background. Oh, Jesus, that's bright. Alright, so I will put my helmet back on. We're going to be using the... That stuff for now, the Immaculate Dwarven stuff. So we got ourselves a... Uh, Kinda of cool as well. Son of a bitch. Why is there so many cool screenshots? Ooh, that actually might be the winner. Screenshot competition. I'm such a nerd. Alright. What do I got? I probably need a sword for this. I already know what's in here, of course, because I said I did this off camera before. But you'll see. You'll see. Alright. I don't remember if there's any items in here, though. Uh, potions of torch, potions and torch, potions of torch. I guess that would be a potion of light spell, wouldn't it? Take that. But that's not what that is. Elven arrows ten and a hat. Cool. Ooh, that's neat. Stop right there. What is this one doing here? I'm Barathor. I'm looking for a treasure chest. Ah, the locked chest. Yes, we have it, but have been unable to open it. Why don't you come in and join us for dinner? Uh, I have some questions first. Very well, but hurry. We are hungry. What are you doing here? We are explorers like you. We were exploring the bottom of a great mine when we found this cave. But just as we found it, the earth shook and the mine collapsed behind us. This is our home now. We are pleased to see someone in the flesh. Hmm. Uh, how long have you been down here? So curious this one is. We have been here for years, surviving on fish and this wondrous mushroom. And whatever else we can scrounge up. Aha. Uh -huh. What did you tell me about the chest? We found it in the water down below. But we could not unlock it, so we dragged it up here. It is locked away in the lonely tower. Which is that, of course. Uh, who is we? My siblings and I. Don't worry, we will all share in your company. God, that's all the questions I had. Good, good. This one asks many questions. Now, let us eat, hmm? You're obviously planning to eat me. Try it. I dare you. <laughs> it is wise not to trust us. But the wise ones taste just the same as the foolish. It Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, scum. So you won't be feasting on my flesh today, you bastards. Boost row! Boost row, because I'm too shit to have dogs. I need to take out the one with the... Yeah. Come on! Yeah. Get Rex. Where are you? Not enough! Ugh, God. I better heal. Be wise. I apparently am very, very delicious. Ooh. Reminds me of Smeagol. It hurts us, precious. There's one more, I believe. Party of Argonians. Falmer helmets and Falmer shields. And weapons. The Lonely Tower Key. Ah, fuck, I didn't want that. I did not want that at all. Was it Falmer? Yeah. Also, I have an inkwell. You can have that. What do you got? I forgot a magic phoenix strike. We got that, but it's worth a good amount of money. And very light. Alright. Head that day. Didn't. Too powerful for unrelenting force. Huh. Come on. Get him. Yes. Well, now you can feast on darkness or something. Okay. Well. That was the thing. Bunch of hungry, cannibalistic Argonians. Trapped in a cave. Not something you expect down here, to be honest. But at the same time, ooh, is this? No, you can steal from here. 
because uh, there's no those, none of those camera face camera thingies that are watching your every move. So anything you do in the cave, like in the palace, I believe you can do stuff. Maybe underground you can do stuff. All right, so let's go into the lonely tower, shall we? And where is it? Is that it? Oh, it's, it's the thing next to it. But I'll take this anyway. There's a dead man. There's Harrible's chest, citadel key, and letter from Harrible to Dooley. All right. So Harrible, of course, is the brother of Dooley. In case you forgot. Actually, let's read uh, the other one as well. Letter from the Jarl to Dooley first. The one we got off Dooley. I'm writing you to, in relation to your continual request for assistance finding your brothers in treasure chests and so-called fortune. While I'm sympathetic to your plights and the passing of your brothers from years ago, I wish to impress upon you important. The treasure you seek does not exist. You must stop your behavior immediately, etc. All right. But the other one is what we want here. Dear Dooley, if you're reading this or having someone you trust read it to you, it means I'm dead. I'm sorry I won't be able to look after you anymore. I want you to try really hard to remember something really important. Yarm Tillis cannot be trusted. After leaving you this note, I'm going to confront him about what he has been doing in the locked room in his citadel. If I did not return, it's probably because he killed me. With this note, you will find a key to the Jarl's locked room. If you have, to, you have to find someone with a good heart and a good head. You are always a better judge of character than me. You'll know what to do. Your brother, horrible. So, the Jarl has something locked up in his room. When you go up to the Jarl, there's a left door that's locked behind a gate. That's what it is implying there. I'm carrying too much now, but I will take all this. Glass helmet of intimate destruction. Steel plate gauntlets of sure grip. Surely all this is worth taking. Let's say also level up while we're at it. Let's go stamina. Gives me 200 stamina, which is nice. Uh, I'm actually not sure what I want to go down yet. I mean, having seen the lockpicking tree, there's some good shit. Or was it, was it lockpicking? No, it wasn't lock. Was it? I don't remember if it was lockpicking or something else. I looked at. Oh, it was the pers person uh, speech tree, wasn't it? A lot of the speech tree is really nice. But, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's too much to actually choose from here. If there was one that actually increased my carry weight, I'd be all over that. I think I'll save my perk point for now. We'll figure that out later. I do need to drop the shit, though. While I'm here, it's gonna be something. Barbarian boots, it's junk. That's worth a fair amount, but it also weighs a ton, so I'll just drop that. There. Problem solved. I prefer worth its weight in gold, and that I feel is not. So that is Herbal's treasure, and some neat little mushroom, which also might make a cool screenshot. God damn it! As soon as my stamina bar goes away, it won't go away. I don't understand why the stamina bar stays so long. I think I could change that myself, but it's fine. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. So we'll go back to Dooley, I guess. I don't think I went back to Dooley after getting the, this is the note. I went back to straight to the Jarl, I believe. I need the uh, circle of water breathing. I'm probably going to do what I did with my uh, Morgamere character and disenchant that. One of those, at least. Why am I dropping? That's weird. And uh, put it like on my cape or something as an enchantment. So when I wear my cloak, I won't drown ever. It's pretty neat, pretty useful. But, uh, I'll do that later, of course. There's no chanting tables in this damn place. This accursed realm. Alright, so we have made a fair amount of progress now. There should only be, like, one or two more videos after this that we'll have to, uh, <laughs> be in here. And then we'll be out and about in the world again. I guess. Assuming I can beat the last boss. <laughs> He wrecked my ass. I'm not sure how I'm going to beat him, to be honest. Hey, this is back. Huh. Interesting. 
I don't actually want the iron daggers. Or that longbow that I have on me for whatever reason. Okay. Shall we go see what's in the Jarl's room? I bet you're all very curious to know. Welcome to our city. I trust you spoke to it out. Whoa. Good thing I didn't hit anybody. I thought I had whirlwinds for done. Whoopsie daisies. Excuse me, sir. Have you spoken with the Yarl yet? I'm all over it, bro. So of course we have to speak with the Yarl again. But this time I'm actually just going to I'm going to go straight in that room first. Also, the Jarl has a daughter somewhere down here. Didn't I speak to her at one point on video? I might have. Oh, yes, I did. I remember making a comment. <laughs> uh, let's see. But she wants to know what's in that room just as much as I did. I wonder if what she'll say if we know what's in the room. Of course, I'll have to find what's in the room first. But I think she's obviously forgotten because we're back in time once again. Is it this way? Hi there. Welcome to our city. Please come down and say hello once you've spoken with the Ah. <laughs> Climbing up this place is a real bitch. Right? Oh, my lantern is on. Okay. I thought so. I'm glad Warborn Sprint comes back quick. It's quite useful. Just traveling about. So we can go in here now, see? Woo! Fancy. We'll go there in a moment. Of course, avoiding the bath at all costs. Because I don't want to put my armor back on. You! So it's interesting her name is Dwamora I think in a Dwemer ruin. And the worst, sometimes I feel more like it's. Oh, you freak. And he and his. But don't just do whatever he says. You know Come on, let's give you something. I'm almost. I thought. I don't want to drink it. Oh. oh. But if I get some, I just know I could get that junkie to spill uh, her guts about everyone in this place. Alright. Great. I wouldn't even know where to start looking. But there's got to be a stash or a recipe somewhere in this. I just offered to give her as quick as you can. skooma. <laughs> Any luck finding some skooma? Sure, here's some skooma. Got some. Well done. Now take it down to Asanchi in the kitchen and see if you can squeeze her for information. It'll be hilarious. <sighs> She's trying to talk to you about what's in the room. Of course, never mind. See you around again. Never mind. Forget you. All right, let's have a look. I guess it doesn't really matter what she thinks anyway, does it? Oh, I went through the wrong door. Mistakes were made. I think it's just a balcony. Yeah. It's just a balcony. The other room is the interesting room. Hello! He's got a woman chained to the wall. Isn't that kinky? Oh god, not again! Please don't hurt me. I'm not going to hurt you. Thank the gods. Quickly, you have to let me down before that monster comes back. Well, I have some questions. Okay, but please hurry. Who are you? I'm Maisie. I lived down in the city with my husband, Ulrin, until a few months ago when... That animal, Metallus, tricked me into coming here. He keeps me here as a... Oh, gods, I can't. You have to let me down, please. I've never done anything to deserve this. Yes, yeah, fucked up. Isn't this against the dwarves' law? Of course it is. But I think the dwarves are blind to whatever happens in this room. You can see the dwarven bust over there got broken somehow. Uh, I can't actually. Uh, if I let you go, what will you do? I'm going to kill that monster who calls himself Jarl. 
I'll scratch out his eyes with my bare hands if I have to. That's all the questions I had. So you'll let me go then? As you might imagine, this is a moral quandary, because obviously, you want to release the person. But if you release them, she's going to get everyone killed. So I'm sorry, but I can't let you down. What? Why not? If it gets out that Metellius has broken the dwarves' law, we're all going to die. So you're just gonna leave me here? If you want, I can put you out of your misery. I'll have to look for another way to save you. What? No, that's not. I. There's gotta be a way. Please don't leave me here. Please, I'll do anything. Please don't leave me. Oh God. I feel so bad. But just the, uh, this is the door and bust here. It's supposed to be keeping an eye on things. It's broken. So apparently you can break the door and bust somehow. And then have free reign over there. So he's got a sex slave. He is a filthy rapist. Which is not cool. So we're going to go confront him about it, obviously. And of course introduce ourselves for the first time there's a face I don't recognize welcome to my city it's all a right, we're gonna skip this dialogue the last vacant chambers down. I sent you here well it's this is this because of course we've already been through this before that's odd. my letter makes no mention of what court so the dwarves lore is real after all just as we always suspected but you know who broke it who was the culprit I was the culprits. You? But why? What did you do? I just wanted to see what would happen. You just... Gods, what is wrong with you? Well, it seems you've been given a second chance. I trust you won't make the same mistake again. Now, yeah. Assuming you can control yourself... Of course, he has us to investigate, of course. As Yarl, I author, I mm -hmm. come, and of course... Now, what do you say? Will yes. If it goodbye for now. And okay. Good luck. I don't need to tell oh, you. God, I wish I had for it all. Why did I fail so much? You fail. All right, let's talk to him about what's in the room, eh? Any word about? Could you ask something close? I could you ask? Fuck. Of course. Fuck that word. <laughs> no, that's not right. I know who's going to destroy the city. Well, I hope your investigation has been thorough. I don't want you accusing the first person you suspect. So, who is it? So we can obviously say Gulvar. It was you all along. I know it's in your locked room. Or Marius. He's an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. It's not Marius. It was you. Hey, keep your voice down. You want to get us all killed? Look, you might have noticed we're being watched by the dwarven statues everywhere you look. But I managed to break the bust in that room. So in there, there is no dwarves' law. Understand? What happens in my private room stays there. Because if my little secret gets out, then you and everyone else in this place is going to suffer badly. What you do next is up to you. You can keep your mouth shut, in which case we all live. Or you can let her go, in which case we all die. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna let her go. I'll keep quiet. Give me two thousand gold. Will you at least help me get out of here, like I promised. You've got to be joking. What are you going to do? Start an uprising and get us all killed? I don't think you have the stomach for it. Will you at least help me get out of here? I promised you no such thing. I said I'd do everything in my power to help you. But here's the thing. There no is no way out of here. You're stuck here for the rest of your life. Now get out of my city. Is he wearing royal gauntlets of Aragorn? He is, isn't he? That's the white tree of Gondor on his... How did you get those? Weird. Okay, well, uh, so much for that. Hmm. Okay, well, he doesn't like that. I know where to go next. It is down into the mine, of course. But I think we'll be doing that next time, of course. Because I'm just about out of time. There's one thing I want to check, though. 
I don't think I've been in the tunnels under my house. So I'm kind of curious where that leads. Does it lead to the same place? I don't know. I know that's where you're supposed to like lure somebody to kill them secretly, but what if you're not doing it for that reason? I've never seen what's down there. So I'm kind of curious to see what's down there. So we might start with that and then... Ooh, I thought I was on the ground floor. That was close. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. I wonder if I told his daughter what was going on in that room, what she would think. Oh, and obviously the wife of the guy who's... Or the husband of the, the lady who's in there. If I told him, he would come here and kill him, so I can't tell him either. Not at least until I either lift the Dwarves' Law, or something else. Which is an option, of course. We'll see. I don't know if I can do it, but we'll see. Alright, my house should be the middle one, right? I think we have enough time to at least go down there. Got like a, what? Oh no, I got ten minutes. I thought I had five minutes. Okay, we got ten minutes. We may indeed have time to explore this. What? What do you mean I don't have the key? I thought he gave me the key to the chamber. Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, in that case, we go into the mine. So we'll start ascending down into the mines. And I will have to continue from there next time. That sounds like a good idea. What the fuck is it now? Ah, I remember. This is the husband of the lady who's Can in I there. Help you with something? See, I could tell him. Obviously, that would be a terrible idea. All right. See you around. I'd have to uh, time warp again. Although, I don't know if, if he goes over there to kill the, the Yarl guy. I don't know if I could do that. So, maybe that's just a bad idea in general. Alright, so here we are. We are wearing full set. No, we are not wearing full set. I forgot to put the helmet back on. Fuck. Immaculate Dwarven Helmets. There we go. We should be fully ready to resist any radiation. Is this heal? Yes. Good. Alright. In we go. We do have to kill these magic anomalies. Ugh. Can't seem to hit it. Die, you finisher of shadow! Ah. Got him. <laughs> Fuckers. Ooh, a grand soul gem with a grand soul in it. That's not bad. There's some workbench down here. There's a smelter that... Is that a smelter? Yeah. And there's a chest here. It's empty. Piss. Anything else of imports? Gold ore, definitely take that. Chest with a ruby. Dwarven oil, don't need that, as far as I know. Ah, soul gems and ore. Good. I'm all about them soul gems and ores. And gold ores. Somebody said you can swing your pickaxe actually at a ore and it'll mine it. Let's see if that's true. Oh my god, it actually is true. They're just kidding. That's actually quicker. But it's not as immersive. It's cool though. Might take longer just because I have to go in my inventory and equip my pick. Still, neat. That, that's a thing though. I like that. Let me hit a five. You never know when I'm going to die. Alright, hopefully we can get down to the bottom right before whatever evil lies ahead of us. Why won't you die? They're just hard to hit. They're not really strong. Oh yeah, they got some good soul gems on them though. If anything, that is nice. Uh, take that. There's another gold ore vein. Well. 
I'd definitely venture to say it's a lot faster to do it yourself. <laughs> I don't know. I like it this way, though. It just feels stupid swinging your pickaxe at a thing, doesn't it? I think, at least. It's like, that's not how you mine ores. What is this? So there's a beam of light shooting down from the middle there. I don't remember why exactly. Is that another ore? Oh, it is. I'll stay here for a second. Crush the damn little buggers. Damn it. Come on. Die. Yes. Soul gems in four days. I should really put the cross uh, the uh, the pick on the hotbar, huh? On the favorites thing. Pickaxe. If you used <laughs> elemental fury, you'd be swinging your pickaxe so fast, you would get that thing dead in, or done in no time. A couple of spiders. Four more centurion spiders. Very cool. I should probably. Uh, Sword back now. Oops. Also, should probably be using this more. Just to get down there quicker. It's a it's a bit of a trek down there. How far do we need to go exactly? I don't remember. Oh, that takes stamina as well. I wasn't aware of that. Ah, there we go. The bottom. Very nice. Alright, there's a door here. That's the door we'll have to go into. Let's go exploring around this thing. I never actually did that. There might be something out here. Because we're going to stop right as we get to the door. I'm not going in there because... Because reasons. <laughs> yeah, there's a big dome there, though. But you'll have to wait until the next video to see what's in said dome. Unless, of course, you've already seen this quest, then of course you know. But... We have to go into the Dwarven Dome next time. There you go. Cool. Well, that's been eventful. Let's give it a save. And this might be coming towards the end of this quest. I think one more video should do it, if assuming I can kill this guy. Or maybe reason my way with him, I don't know. But it's uh, it's probably going to be a tough one. So prepare for a lot of dying <laughs> next time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And I'll see you guys in... Part 20 of the Lord of Skyrim's Birthrose Quest. See you all next time.